Good afternoon, boys and girls, and welcome to Mrs. Cobb's Kindergarten Corner. And get ready for science class today, boys and girls, because it's going to be all about plants. Boys and girls, thanks for joining me today for Mrs. Cobb's Kindergarten Corner. Last time that we were together, we talked all about plants. And we talked about the parts of the plants. Remember, boys and girls, we learned five parts to the plant. The first part that we learned was the roots. The roots. And the roots soak up the water and the nutrients and helps the plant stay in its place. The next part that we learned was the stem, the long stem. And the stem helps the plant stay upright, straight, and tall. And it helps to carry all of the water from the roots up to the other parts of the plant. The next part that we learned about was the leaves. The leaves. And the leaves soak up all that sun and it makes helps the uh, plant make its own food. And the next part that we learned was the flower. The flower. And the flower helps to make the seeds. The seeds actually go and get scattered on the ground and the seeds help the plant reproduce. Remember we learned that word, reproduce. And reproduce means that the plant has little baby plants. Remember, reproduce means babies and it means to make little tiny plants. And plants are living because they reproduce. So that's what we learned about last time we were together, boys and girls. And today, we are gonna focus on one of those parts of the plant. And the part of the plant that we're gonna focus on today is called the leaves. We're gonna be looking at all different types of leaves. There are rounded leaves, there are long and thin leaves. There are many pointed leaves. There are many color types of leaves. And we're gonna look at all different types of leaves today. Okay, boys and girls, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually show you guys some real plants today. And we're gonna be looking at all the different types of leaves. So the first plant that I'm gonna show you is this plant. And this plant has white, small leaves that have some points. So it's white, they're small, and they're pointed. And when you listen to those words, boys and girls, about how that plant leaf looks, that is a word called characteristics. Can you say that word with me? Characteristics. And characteristics means the way that something looks, okay? So I said a characteristic of this leaf is that it is white, it is pointed, it is small. That is its characteristics. So let's look at another leaf and look at its characteristics. Here is another plant, wow! Look at this one, boys and girls. These leaves are what do you think? What would be a characteristic for that leaf? It would be big. It's not small. These leaves are big. And look, they are curly. They have little curls and they curl up in your hand. So they are curly and they are big. So let's look at some more. We have this leaf. Oh, now look at this, boys and girls. This is a shrub. It's like a big shrub that goes in front of your house. And these little leaves are little. They are small and they are rounded. Small and rounded and green. And that is its characteristic. Let's look at another leaf. Here's another one. Wow, look at this one, boys and girls. This one is green and white. It has uh, two colors on it. It is also somewhat rounded. It has a pointy tip and it has little veins that run down the middle and down the sides. It's a very unique leaf, right? And it is big, it's not small. This is a big leaf. And let's look at this plant. These leaves are yellow 
and they are pointed, yellow and pointed. Hello boys and girls, today we are going to be looking at those characteristics again of each one of those leaves. Remember, we're focusing on the leaves, we're looking at the characteristics, the way the leaf looks, and the leaves that I'm going to show you guys some different leaves, and you guys are going to look at the different characteristics. So this first leaf, look at that leaf. It is big, it is green, it has a curly edge, and it has a pointed tip. Those are the characteristics. Big, green, curly, pointed tip. Let's look at a different leaf. This leaf is white and it is kind of furry. It has some pointed edges. It feels soft. Those are its characteristics. The next leaf we're going to look at is from a Japanese boxwood plant. This is one, boys and girls, that you would put in front of your house and it looks like bushes outside, right? And let's look at the leaves on this one. They are little, they are green, they are rounded. Each leaf is rounded. That's its characteristics. And the next plant we are going to look at Wow, boys and girls, this one looks very different, right? This one is called a Cuban Gold Sky Flower. And this one has yellow leaves. And they are small. And they have little tiny points going all the way around them. And one point on the end. So that's its characteristics. It's yellow, it is pointed, and it is small. Okay, boys and girls? Those are the four different leaf types that we are looking at today. Okay, boys and girls, now we are going to play a little game called sorting. Sorting means that we put things into their own group. So we can sort things by color. Red go together, yellow goes together, blue goes together. Or we can sort by shape and size. Big ones go together, little ones go together. So, boys and girls, we are going to start sorting our leaves. The first leaf that we are going to sort is the big leaf. If it has a big leaf, it's gonna go here, okay? It's gonna go with this plant. The next one that we are going to sort is the white leaves, the white pointy leaves. If it has white pointy leaves, it goes in this group. The next group we are going to sort is little little tiny leaves. If it's little and tiny and green, it goes in this group. And the next group that we are going to sort are the tiny yellow leaves. If it has yellow leaves and they're small, it goes in this group. Okay? So let's get ready to sort them. I'm going to bring up a plant, boys and girls, and you tell me which group it goes in. Is it big? Is it white and pointy? Is it little, tiny, and green? Is it yellow? Okay, so you guys tell me where our plant goes. So the first plant I'm gonna show you is another shrub. Look at that, look at these leaves, boys and girls. Do you think that this plant, these leaves would go here with the big leaves? I don't think so. Do you think that it goes with the white one? Do you think that the leaves are white like this plant? I don't think so, boys and girls. What about here? These leaves are small and green, and these leaves are small and green. So these two plants can go together, okay? They have the same characteristics. They're both small and they're both green. Okay, so they can go together. Next plant, the leaves are white and furry and pointy. Hmm, does it go with the big ones? No. Does it go down here with the other white one that's soft and furry and pointy? Yes, it does, right? These look the same. They're the same plant, they go together, they are sorted together, okay? 
Here's our next one. Now this one's going to be a little tricky, boys and girls, because this one doesn't look like the rest of them exactly the same colors, but let's look at its characteristics. This leaf is not little. This is a big leaf. So it can't go here, boys and girls, because it's big. And it can't go here, boys and girls, because it's not all white and it's not tiny. But boys and girls, it is big, just like this leaf is big. Both of these leaves have green. Both of these leaves are big. So guess what? Even though they're not the exact same color, they are the exact same size. They're both big leaves. So they can go in the same spot, in the same sorting pile, in the same characteristic. They are both big leaves, so they can go together. And here's our last little guy. And this one, boys and girls, has some yellow, and it is small, and it is rounded. That's its characteristics. So if it is small, boys and girls, could it go here? No, because these are big. This is little. They can't go together. Could it go here? These are white, and these are green and yellow, so no, can't go here. What about here, boys and girls? Now, this is little leaves, this is little leaves, and this one has little leaves too. But there is one more category that we had, yellow. And these are almost the same yellow as our last plant. So, because it has a different color, and, it, and it's yellow just like this plant, these two can go together. So our yellow small plants can go over here. Now boys and girls, do you see how we have our four sorting piles according to their leaf size, shape, and color? Big, large, green leaves, small, white, pointy leaves, small, green leaves, and small yellow leaves. And all four of our plants are sorted according to their leaf characteristics. So you guys learned a lot today, right boys and girls? Let's review. We learned that we are focusing today on an important part of the plant called the leaf. And we can sort our leaves according to their characteristics, the way that the leaf looks, okay? the things that we see about the leaf. And we sorted them according to four types of characteristics. We did big green leaves, small white leaves, small green leaves, and small yellow leaves. And that technique is called sorting, putting things together in groups that look the same. Okay, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me for science class today. I hope that you guys enjoyed our lesson, and I hope that you guys, while you're home for COVID-19, that you guys can get out and start planting some plants, because it is springtime, and it's time for you guys to get out and enjoy the weather outside. It's been beautiful lately, and you guys can get out and start gardening with your mom and dad, and maybe you can describe some of the leaves that you see on the plants in your own yard. That would be wonderful. So let's go ahead and practice, boys and girls, that turn and talk that we do every week with our lesson. Remember, you need to turn to someone in your family and talk to them about what you learned in science class today. So today we learned all about that big word, characteristics. So I want you guys to say this sentence for me. A characteristic is the way something and you finish the sentence, okay? So say that again. A characteristic is the way something, and you finish the sentence, okay? So push pause, and I want you guys to practice that. Okay, boys and girls, thank you so much for practicing Turn and Talk. I really enjoyed working with you guys today. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.